Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Andrina from Andrina's Creations. Today I'll be showing you how to customize your own nutritional facts for your own custom labels. The first thing I do, I go to Microsoft Word and usually I go to File, Save As, and then I'll name my file and right here where it says Save As Type, I will click down and I will go to Word 97 2003 document. I like that mode. Usually it's on Word document, but I will save it as Word 97 2003 before I start designing anything. So click on it and save. Um, to make your nutritional facts, you will go to Insert, Shapes. You will click on the rectangle. It does not matter the size of the rectangle you do because you're going to size it after you're done. So just make a rectangle big enough so you can see everything you're doing. Like that. Let me zoom in a little bit. While your rectangle is selected, make sure you're on the Format tab, go to Shape Outline, go to Weight, and go to 2 1 fourth point so your lines can be thicker. Now unselect everything, go to insert, word art, and then I use Arial Narrow, Arial Narrow, yep. And then type in, depending on the event you're doing, that's where you're going to type in. So let's say you're doing a birthday for your grandmother, so I am going to put Granny. nutritional facts and then you will press OK. Your font is going to be behind your rectangle so make sure it's selected. You will go to wrap text in front of text and then you will go to shape fill and fill in the color you would like. Now play around with your colors depending on the theme of um, your event. So I am going to leave it black for now but you can choose any color of your choice. And then size it up to your liking. Like that. I'm going to go back to insert, word art, Arial narrow. And then I am going to type in serving size. Press OK. Your font is going to be behind your rectangle, so you will click on Wrap Text in front of text. Change the color. And then you're going to place it under there. The little circles on the side, you can use that to size up your font. Now you will go to Insert, Shapes, click on the line. Now press down your shift key so your line can stay straight. Make sure your line is selected. You will go to shape outline, click on the weight, and then at least let's say two one four um, point so it can be thicker. And right there. Now you're going to start beginning to type in whatever you want your nutritional facts to say. Insert word art. Okay, wrap text in front of text, change the color, and 
and I don't think I did Arial narrow press OK and then you can go back to insert shapes click on the line and you will hit the shift key to make sure your line stays straight and then you will go to shape outline your weight this one I'm going to make it thinner so at least one and a half now you will go back to insert word art and start typing and you had to press your space bar and then type in your percentage Arial narrow and OK wrap text in front of text change the color Now you will click on the line above and then copy and paste. And you will put that same line under the other one, under your other um, font. And then you will click on Unconditional Love, right click, copy and paste. And then put that one there, under it, I mean. Then right click and edit. And press OK. Now again the line, right click, copy and paste. Put it under and then right click, copy and paste your font and put that one under and then edit. And now you type in whatever you would like. And then oh, I'm moving the wrong thing. Now you can do as many as you would like. I'm going to leave it like this. And then I go back to insert word of art and then I am going to type percentage daily value based on a diet of self love and then somewhere in between here just press enter so it can be two sentences then press OK then you will go back to wrap text in front of text shape fill fill in your color Now down here you can put the date of your event or from mom and dad or stuff like that. Anything. If it's for a baby shower, put the parents' names and all that. So this is just one example. 
And um, now if I move anything from here, it's going to move by itself because it's not one image. So let's say I move the rectangle, it's going to move by itself. So you need to make sure you group everything together. So I will press the shift key and you need to press everything. So the rectangle and every single font and every single line you need to press. Make sure that you have um, your shift key uh, pressed down and select everything. And then you will go to format, group, and group. And everything should be grouped together and you're able to move everything as one image. Oh no, hold on. I did not click that in the back. So let's go, I think I didn't click the lines. So let's go back to format, group and group. I'm still missing a line. Now group and group. Okay, you have to make sure you press everything. And now it's one image. Um, now you can size it to the size you want to put, like say on your chip bags or water bottle or your Hershey bars or anything. Now you can size it up as one image. You can also add images to your um, nutritional facts. So all you will do is go to insert picture and select a picture you would like. Let's add butterflies and press insert. Now your image is going to be behind your nutritional facts. So you need to make sure you go to wrap text in front of text and then you size your image. and place it where you want it to be. Okay, and that's all. Again, thank you for watching. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload my next video. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and comment below. Bye-bye.